Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to Thrift and Uplift, where we share all of our thrifting finds and treasures and just talk about real life. Keep it 100. So I did part one, and if you haven't seen part one, you can go to my page and check out part one. But basically I went to the Salvation Army and they had a massive after Christmas sale. Everything in the store, furniture, clothes, shoes, you name it was 50% off. So I'm super excited. I shared a little bit of what I found um, on my last video, but I'm gonna just show you all of it, everything, everything that I got. So let's just get right into it. So I wanna continue on with shoes because I did get so many pairs of shoes. Um, one of the things I'm super excited about is I found a pair of Hunter boots. I've never actually owned a pair of these and I know these are just so uh, popular and cool and they're in really great condition. So I'm super excited about those. Um, my particular uh, Salvation Army, I don't know if they have like a relationship with Zara or something like that, but they always have all of Zara's either returned or damaged stuff so they always have a bunch of brand new Zara stuff so it's typically more expensive um you know $13 per piece um $10 per piece you name it so um I typically don't uh usually tread into that area and section but this time I did find some really cute um pumps I'll show you guys brand new with the tags I mean, how cute are these babies? Look at the little bows, I can't. And these are not actually damaged, which means they were probably just on the floor and uh, out of season. So I'm super excited about these cute little slingback sandals. Super, super cute, especially for the new year. I don't know what your guys' plans are, but um, it is currently the day before New Year's Eve and I still don't have my outfit put together, so that's cool. Um, anyway, this is totally more important, obviously. Hello, priorities. So, anywho, the next thing I found were these Michael Kor, Kors block, um, black sandal heels with the zipper in the front. I'm usually a seven and a half. These are a seven and they actually fit me. Even though the bottom is um, a little bit, you can see it's a little bit like discolorated. The actual leather is in beautiful condition and I'll condition and treat it obviously. So um, they'll look like new, but they're really pretty. I personally really love Michael Kors heels because of the comfort. I think between Michael Kors and Jessica Simpson is probably some of my uh, favorite shoes um, just because I like to be comfortable when I'm going out to um, to wear a heel um, as much as I love some of the designs of others um, I always find my way back to Michael Kors and Jessica Simpson because of the comfort so that's just my personal opinion and then of course I found these cute um, Franco Sarto, if you guys know Franco Sarto, they always do leather shoes. And I think leather shoes, especially when you're paying under a dollar, are always such a good buy. So these wedge heels here and just a cute tan moment. Um, I actually haven't even calculated my, my cost per unit um, on everything that I got on this haul. So um, that is... I will calculate and tell you guys later, but I think one of the things to keep in mind when you are sourcing and when you are um, looking for thrifts and you know um, that something in particular is of good quality and it's great material, leather typically will stand the test of time. So you'll find vintage pieces that are still in really pristine condition um, because the leather is great quality. And like I said, definitely stands the test of time so I think leather shoes you can't go wrong um, and then these last ones are just so not my style it's I'm not I'm not dogging on the, the western lifestyle or you know the country gal southern belle lifestyle I love it for people I just think for me I'm more like you know streetwear edgy chola vibe um so but I did see these and I was like 
they were there last time and they were still there. So I'm like, let me give these little babies a home, especially because everything was 50% off. And um, I also feel like Western booties are just on trend right now. So um, pro tip, I actually stuff all my booties and I stuff all of my heels. I did it with the Franco Sartos as well um, with plastic just to make sure it keeps its, its shape. These were actually all bent up and after a night of stuffing them, they are back in great shape. So pro tip. Uh, moving along to some clothes that I'm really excited about. Uh, we'll start off with one of the things that I'm just beyond excited that I found. It is grade school me meets present day streetwear enthusiast me. And it's just like the most beautiful crossover. I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with the OG streetwear brand, Baby Fat, but I found the cutest, and you know now they're coming out with like a bunch of re-editions and things like that, but there's nothing like the OG baby fat brand and so i actually found a sweatsuit it's not even in my size but honey we are gonna make it work okay so look at this i remember having so many baby fat <laughs> purses branded shirts you name it that was the vibe so it's just really cool to see it make a comeback and you know people finding it and this was actually a matching sweatsuit. Wait until you see the top. Like the bottoms are cute, they're a vibe, but the top, it's it's giving edgy street world, streetwear, but make it feminine and girly. Um, and I say that because I love this bubble sleeve here. I think that just adds to so much femininity in clothing. Look at that. None of the stones are missing. We love we just love and the back you know they always do it up on the back so this is the back super cute and it's one of those but wait there's more moments so it's also got on the hoodie i'm just picturing how i'm gonna look like i walk straight off of a pussycat dolls <laughs> music video in this fit so i'm super excited about that um let me show you what's next one of the things I think whew, I absolutely cannot go wrong with is jean, jean anything, jean jackets, jean vests, you name it. And so I definitely just went ahead and grabbed anything jean that I could, starting with this raw edged distressed jean vest. It's not even a brand that I recognize. It's like a OG jeans brand. Might have just come from the same household, honestly, as that baby fat sweatsuit, if we're being real. But look at that. I look so edgy. Like, are we going to a music video? Are we going to the truck stop? A little bit of both, you know? So I'm super, super loving that. And one of the other things, too, that's cool about this is... You can customize it, you can make it your own. I have so many rhinestones and cute little chains and things that I collect because I just can't bear to throw out pretty things that I have that I could just put on the pockets or on the collar and really make it your own. So that's definitely something to keep in mind when you see something that's like, maybe just a little plain Jane for me, but um, I've got some ideas brewing, so. So the next jacket that I got I actually wasn't even 100% about. I was like, I don't know. I don't really know. Am I doing too much with the jean stuff, you know? And then I turned around and saw the back and I was like, oh, I have to get it. It's giving Merca. It's giving I'm proud to be an American. And I just think these patches are so cool. And like I said earlier, you can definitely, you know, put rhinestones over them and customize them etc so that's always cool i definitely would bling this thing out maybe even paint it so just a little cute oversized jean jacket moment <laughs> so that's it for that and um personally you can never go wrong with a cashmere sweater 
if you guys were to reach through the screen and be able to feel this, you would just want to lay your head there. It's so soft and so cute. And um, like I said, it is getting a wee bit nippy out here in Miami. So I was like, cashmere sweater going in the cart. Now the last thing in this bag, <laughs> that is not everything, is this little vintage, you know it's vintage Victoria's Secret just based on the tag. Like I, I, I don't even know the last time I've seen this um, tag. Actually this is from 1993. Another pro tip, if you look closely enough at the tag, you can actually see, hold on, you can see the year on there. So it says um, the last two numbers are 93, which means this is from 1993. So just cool. Vintage Victoria's Secret is just, you know, it's always awesome to see how styles um, withstand the test of time. So now for my next trick, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now this next piece is i don't even know what was going through my mind when i said just throw it in the bag but like i said sometimes you just have your sales goggles on where you're like well it's 50 percent off what's the worst that could happen you know so this is giving my dad is waking up at 5 a.m to go mow the neighbor's lawn vibe look at this it's actually brand new it's it's a 3xl so not my size, but you know what? It's actually matching my hat. So if you're into that, like, you know, oversized, this is extremely oversized, but if you're into that oversized vibe, that's cool. So yeah, I just thought it was a good idea based on what evidence, none, basically. So <laughs> there's that. This I love. So I actually just, I don't, I, didn't, I don't even think I checked the size on this. I just saw it and I was like, oh, this is a vibe. So look at this. I don't even know what, if this is a real team, it says Fresh Leets, which I think is just so, dare I say it, fresh. So I'm excited to like wear this super casual with a nice snapback and you know, my tats and some cute shorts and some Jordans and just, give it that streetwear edgy vibe this is totally totally my vibe so my uh my friend hillary always says like oh your inner chola is happy and this is definitely making my inner chola happy so the next thing i found oh i knew this shirt was was cute and good when i felt it one of the things that i like to remember i've been basically thrifting since i was six um, you know, it obviously started out out of necessity. I grew up in very humble beginnings, as I'm sure many of us can relate. And um, going thrifting with my mom, um, basically, if not every week, every other week, to me was always just so structured. And I just always came out feeling like I learned something, especially because my mom is a Capricorn and she's very like, she has ideas, she has structures, she has systems in place, and I just learned so much because of her. So one of the things that I learned is that if you're not sure of, of the brand, trust the fabric. The fabric is going to speak to you. It's going to tell you things based on how it feels, how it flows. And I felt the shirt just ripping through the racks and I was like, oh, not only does it look unique, the wash, but I felt it. I'm like, this feels luxe. And lo and behold, I pull it out and it is a uh, Hugo Boss, Boss by Hugo Boss shirt. So it's just super cool, distressed look. I really just liked it. And um, yeah, so that's my little pro tip thrown in there. This next um, piece is a pair of pants. I usually don't get pants. I don't know why. I think I'm just such a leggings or shorts person. I don't own a single pair of jeans. I don't. I really just, I don't like them. I don't think they're comfortable. I don't like feeling so constricted and I'm so active too that 
um it's just not meant to be worn so many hours throughout the day so that's just personally i think they look great on so many people but personally i can't do it so as we know the cargo movement is uh going at full speed okay and i have officially jumped on the cargo bandwagon okay you got me i got got so i'm super excited these are super cute i love express i've loved express since i was like six since i could i knew what clothes was i have so many memories of my childhood growing up going to express and just loving their accessories loving their clothes and i still have clothes from when i was in high school um that still is in great shape so i just really believe in their quality these retail for 88 dollars and like i said my cost per unit was probably about a dollar if not just under that so um that's just me ballparking it but i just thought they were so cute so love those okay so i have been searching far and wide for sweatpants because i basically the way my outfits work or at least the strategy in my head is to balance it out so if i have really tight shorts on for leg day i'm wearing an oversized tee by the way i got this at the salvation army too <laughs> we just love the it's giving uh going on a fishing trip vibes um, fun fact, I was actually wearing this backwards all day and no one noticed because why would anyone notice until I was like, huh, don't they usually, don't they put like the big design on the back usually? And then I realized while I was at the gym, like, let me go turn my shirt around because it is my responsibility to not look like an idiot. Okay. In these streets, we can't be out here looking like Booba the Fool. So anywho. I found some sweatpants. Sweatpants are not cheap, by the way. Um, I like went on um, what website? Nike, obviously, Under Armour, and just like some stores like that, even Zara. And they're just not cheap. You're paying like 30, 40, sometimes 50 bucks for sweatpants. And I just find that egregious, um, especially when I typically do my shopping at a thrift store, right? So uh, I actually was like, you know what? Let me check the men's section. So I found these All Saints and All Saints, she bougie, okay? That is a bougie brand. Um, sweatpants, so they're actually a little oversized, but I like to wear them oversized and kind of do that like, you know, lax chill vibe, especially if I'm wearing something super tight on top. So we call that a win. <laughs> and then I just loved this material um, it's literally nothing exciting it's just a plain black shirt but you guys know how it is sometimes you just need your your staple products you need your staple things and it's nice to find high quality staple items to your closet so one of them is just like a, a cute lax this is also men's by the way I shop in the men's section, you know what, quite a lot. And I think it's because when it comes to oversized tees, especially to take to the gym, they just have a more lax fit. Like, I don't want an oversized tee that's like, you know, cut in a, in a women's cut. I really like the boxy so I can, you know, tuck it up in the back fit. So I just generally shop in the men's section for my oversized tees. It's just what I do. Okay, you could take my advice or you could leave it where you found it. So this one is uh, James Purse and it's just a cute lax tee. I think for me, the feeling of the material is super important. So I felt it and was like sold. This next shirt that I found. Oh, so actually I didn't really know a lot about this brand until one of my friends, um, was telling me about it and basically I learned about it through helping her sell some stuff so I guess let me tell you guys a little bit of background of what I do um so I consign and I basically help people sell the stuff that they want to get rid of so let's say for example you have like 10 nice shirts and you know a few handbags and pairs of shoes and you want to sell it 
Um, I will do all the marketing, all the photos. I'll list them on all the platforms. I use my software to market them and then I take a percentage from the net proceeds. So that's basically what I do. And my friend who I was helping out, she had a lot of clothes from this brand and I just couldn't believe how fast it was selling. I was like, I really don't know much about men's. I typically specialize in women's and designer handbags and shoes. So, um, but I learned so much and now I'm like committed to this brand because it really is such high quality menswear and I can get down with anything that's just built such a strong brand. So, John Varvatos. Um, so yeah cute little shirt and I know it's high quality baby I seen the comps okay I don't know why I just have this picture in my head of so this is brand new and it's also a size 2xl which obviously I am not but I have been just really into wearing oversized things as like a shirt dress um and I just, I really like it. And I'm just feeling this. I like the material. I like that it's not a like cotton. It's, it's more of a knit, which I like. And I'm just picturing like wearing this and just some cute booties and flinging over a leather handbag, cute curls, lots of accessories and some shades and just really giving the Real Housewives of Miami vibe. I don't know. I just I, I I see a piece sometimes, and I have like this this vision in my head. And uh, I'll if when if and when I make that a complete outfit, I will show you guys. Yeah. The only other Sara thing I got actually this is from the kids section, but as I learned recently, I fit in the Zara kids section. So I was like, I gotta take this. Um, I just thought it was a cute little. It's not meant to be a crop polo, I don't think, but it's gonna be. So, what does it say here? Kindness above all, okay? And we, we love a positive message, okay? So, I had to get that. I don't even know what number of item we're on. So, here is the next thing. This is a Alfani, um, <laughs> I call it a dad sweater because it's just giving dad vibes but it's actually really really nice soft material and I love the color this would not be for myself obviously but I just think that's such a chic color the last thing I've actually been looking for a long time for just a plain pinstripe vest but I just didn't want to break the bank getting a piece like this so when I saw it just hanging out on the rack on its own, I was like, oh yeah, she's waiting for me. She for sure is meant for me. Obviously I would not wear it with this. I would wear it with like a cute, uh, oh my God, it fits perfect. A cute like, you know, white crop or white bodysuit. And it also has a string in the back to tighten. So, you know, we can make the waist look snatched so anyways that's pretty much it for part two of the haul thank you guys for joining um let me know in the comments what do you guys want to hear more of do you want to hear more about my story how i got into what i'm doing would you like thrifting tips um i would love to do a series on giving you guys tips are you looking to um hear more motivation stuff more about like you know how to keep going, especially being consistent in your business or what have you, let me know, give me feedback. I'm so excited to start this journey and just kind of share a little bit of my life with you guys. So um, make sure to subscribe, to turn notifications on if you want to, and um, you can follow me on social media. I'll put the link below, as well as the link to my Poshmark and a code for you to get $10 off if you'd like to join the Poshmark community. So thanks so much. Happy New Year, guys. Talk to you soon.